Hi, this is Greg Hughes with 90 Second Website Builder. You know, the jQuery user interface tools here in the toolbox give you a number of really great tools to work with. One of my favorites is the jQuery tabs tool. I use it quite a lot because it's a great way to display content on your website in a really efficient way. I just drew a jQuery tabs box onto this canvas here. You'll notice it has a certain look. In fact, this look happens to be called Cupertino. That's the jQuery theme that this page is associated with by default. I can change that theme because the jQuery theme is what determines what jQuery objects look like. So I'm going to go to the page properties real quick and go to the style tab. You can see it says jQuery theme is Cupertino, but you can change that to anything you want. I'm going to change this to something a little bit different just to show you that it can be done. Let's choose the hot sneaks and see what that looks like. There we go. That's kind of a fun look. Now remember, the theme applies to the page, so that means every jQuery object we use will be coordinated. They'll all look the same. They'll have the same theme. Of course, you can make your own themes, but that's the topic of another video. This video is about this object called the jQuery tabs. It's a great way to display content. First, it starts you off with two categories. You can have more or fewer, of course, and you do that by double clicking on it and bringing up the jQuery tabs properties. They're called items, but this is something that's editable. You can put whatever you want here and you can call these sections anything you want, and then you can put whatever you want in those sections. Those sections are called content areas. And so inside this content area, I can put text, images, video. In fact, let's do that just for fun. Let's put some text in this one. I'm going to double click and put some dummy text here. We'll call it lorem ipsum text, just so we can see what that looks like. So here's a, an area with text. Let's put an image in here somewhere. Just grab some random image. Here's an orange and kind of a big orange, so let's do that. And then let's go to the other section here. Let's put some uh, image over here, just as a demonstration. Find another random image of some kind here. Here we go. And of course, we can add sections. Let's double click on here. And the way we would add more sections is click the Add button. Call it whatever we want. And you can even put in these sections video. So let's put a YouTube video in here. I'm going to go grab a YouTube video tool, just draw it into the content area, double click on it. There we go. Let's not auto start that, otherwise it'll drive us crazy every time we test it. Okay, so now we have this jQuery tabs object. Let's do an F5 and see what it looks like. And here you see the first section has our image and our text. This section has another image. And there's our video, which we could play if we wanted to. 90 second website built. But I'll stop that. And of course we can toggle between these areas. Very, very simple, but there are some great settings that you can use to adjust the look of this and the way this object behaves. So let's talk about some of those. I opened up the jQuery tabs properties again under style. This is where you can change a number of things. Obviously the font, you could do, you can figure that out. I'm using Arial 10 normal, but I could use any web safe font that's listed here and change the style to bold or whatever. But here's some things that are kind of fun. I'm going to click on this particular option called sortable tabs. And this does something really unusual. I'm going to click OK. What this means is when your jQuery tabs object is online, your user, meaning the end user, the person viewing your website, can actually sort these tabs if they want. Instead of just clicking on them, they can actually move them around. They can move this one over here if they want to and make that one first. And this would be second. And this one would be third. Or they can put this one back in the middle or put this one in the middle if they want. This makes your tabs sortable. And of course, you can have a number of these tabs, so you can imagine the application that this provides. Now, just because they're changing them here, it obviously doesn't affect what you've designed. They're just changing their view of the jQuery tabs object. So it's actually pretty amazing technology. Of course, it always stays in its original case for you in the design mode, but as the viewer is looking at it, they can sort those tabs any way they want to. Let's look at some of the other features. We double click on here and again, go back to style. I'll take that off and let's try a different one. This one means activate on mouse over. That means the user doesn't have to actually click on the tab to activate that content area. They just have to mouse over it. So I'm not gonna click my mouse. I'm just gonna move my mouse. I'm hovering over these and they automatically change without any click. Just a slight difference if you want that kind of behavior. You have the option of setting it to do that. I'll take that one off. I do like this one, use fade transition effect. I usually keep this one on because I just think it makes a nicer transition between the content areas when the user clicks. You can see a slight fade in between. It just looks a little smoother. You can especially see it when we go to the orange. It just makes a nice 
smooth transition, well, in fact, a fade transition between these content areas and I just think that's nice. It's subtle but it is a little smoother. So we'll leave that on there. Here's something else that's kind of interesting and that is the collapsible feature. Now this opens up some new possibilities. Here's what collapsible does. Collapsible means that when a user clicks on a section and then they click on it again, the whole content area collapses. It just goes away. And then they click on it again, they bring it back. So I'm clicking on this click on it again and it collapses. It's just another way to add interactivity of your object for your user. In fact, you could put content behind your jQuery tabs and have it show that way if that's what you wanted. I'll show you what I mean. So for example, let's move this out of the way and let's bring in an image, for example. I'll get an image. Again, we'll just use some random image. I realize we're not making sense with these images, but I just want you to see how these function. Here's a nice big question mark. Now, one of the things I want to do is I want to make sure that this question mark is in the back layer. Right now it's probably in the front. As you can see, as I go like this, it's on top of this. I'm going to make sure this is behind. So while this is selected, I'm going to go up to Arrange, Move to Back, so that this is now in the back of this object, so that I can move my jQuery tabs object on top of it. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I'm just trying to hide something behind this to, to demonstrate what happens when we collapse it. You'll notice that I didn't try and put this in behind this way because what happens is 90 Second Website Builder is going to assume I'm trying to put it inside my jQuery object, and I'm not. I want it to be behind it. That's why I did it in that order. So anyway, I'm just going to put this right here and watch what happens when we do an F5. It can't be seen until the content area is collapsed, and then we could display content behind that. Just another effect, something for you to play with. Depends on how you want to use that application, but it's just another thing you can do. Let's double click on this one more time and look at the Style tab again and see what we can do. I'll remove the collapsible. You can also move those tabs, by the way, to the bottom instead of the top. Just another way to display the same thing. I like them on top usually, so I'll keep that. And then here's one more thing that's really interesting. It's more of an animation, and that is you can have the tabs automatically rotate like an animation or kind of like a slideshow. You could actually use this as a slideshow if you wanted to by just checking this box. Notice there's a duration of two seconds. That's 2,000 milliseconds. And watch what happens when we do this. Remember, I changed this back to the top. Now let's click F5. And I'm not going to do anything but watch this. You'll see that it's changing every two seconds on its own, kind of like a slideshow. And again, it's doing it every two seconds, but I could set that to whatever I want. And it will just keep doing that in a loop until I click on something. And that should stop the animation. However, I can even adjust that. If we go back to the style, it'll say continue the rotation after tab has been selected by the user if I do this. So I can, I can control whether the user can stop the animation or the rotation, in other words. So just another setting you can use to make your jQuery tabs be more functional and interactive with your website visitors. It's just another great tool that you can use to make your websites look professional as you're building them with 90 Second Website Builder.